I think there's something on on Trump there that you have to point out. How would this sound? These guys are bums. It was an inside job. <laughs> they didn't me. protect me. They're in it together. They're part of the establishment. Okay, press conference over. All right, let's go out to the rally. Now, remember, guys, if something happens, jump in front of the bullet. <laughs> yeah. So you can't how criticize. does that work? Well, I'm telling you right now, you criticize the people yeah. that are watching you. It's not good. All right, but hold on, because I want to play this that. video. This is uh, Trump. Uh, by the way, he's back behind the glass, thank God. He's talking about... Uh, uh, the Marxist ideology of Kamala and how he's saying that CRT, critical race theory, transgender, insanity, and all that is going to be left out of the armed services, which I love. Go ahead, Connor. But under Comrade Kamala, <laughs> our military has been abused it's for good. radical good. social experiments. <laughs> when day one, I will get critical race theory and transgender insanity the hell out of our U.S. Here we go. Forces. Old Trump. We're taking it out. Taking it out. should be focused on defeating America's enemies, not figuring out their genders. By that time, hopefully they know their genders. <laughs> you know what? Marxist ideologies have no place in combat. Think of it. They go in and they decide, oh, are they going to change my gender? No, no. Uh. We, we want them to know their gender when they go in. You have no idea the disruption that that has caused and oh. the fake news refuses to report it. Big time. I lo By the way, I absolutely love that because for the first time, I think, I don't know ever, Rob, but in a long time, our, our military, nobody's joining. We are the weakest that we've ever been. I know for a fact because somebody told me about their cousin that joined as a, as a guy to get rid of all his stuff, the, the trans, what, I don't even know the surgery, gender, re gender reassignment. That's the only yeah. reason they joined, to do their time and then leave. That's, that's the only it. reason I'd actually join the military. That's it. Point. I'm looking <laughs> for a it. deal. But I think maybe a BOGO, a buy one, get one gender affirmation. But that's not. That's okay. the only reason I would do it. I don't. Okay. That's also not something that's new. I had a bunch of, I mean, I went to college in 2004. I had a bunch of buddies coming out of high school that enlisted in the military just so they could get free education. So there has always mm. been people that will use the military to f to better their lives yeah. in their opinion but, or viewpoint. But school, but, 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 but I think with they schooling... They should. No, but hold on. The military's going to use the hell out of you. Use the hell out of them. Yeah, but and that's my thing with school. Because with schooling, uh, with the military, they give you... Um, what's the program called? I the GI Bill. Bill. The GI Bill, where you put in like 1,200 the 1200 bucks. They match it. And while, while I was in, I got to just take courses. And there were some of these courses where you just take the test. I passed tests. Then they gave me the credit. You know what I mean? So I think I think there's a huge difference of taking advantage you really of schooling because sense? well, but because hear me out. The schooling betters you to be a better soldier because because if you join enlisted, then you get your degree. You could become an officer, yes, which I, I understand. I okay. get that. I don't see how this makes you a better soldier. I yeah, agree. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and also, when it comes to this, okay, college is a one-time cost. You're going to pay that out. Yeah. It, when these people go through these surgeries as Real, a member yeah. of the United States military, are we covered? This isn't a project. It's not like when you go to the doctor and you've had a rotator cuff tear and they stitch you up, they give you the surgery, you go to rehab, and then you're better. Yeah. <laughs> this is something that it's a life-changing surgery that there is going to be lifelong care yeah. that's going to be needed for that. Does the military cover those costs? Oh, oh, what, what do you mean? One thousand? Thousand yes, percent, you get service yes. connected. Like, I mean, it's taking. You guys have no idea the the. the but they won't cover you if you're a vet and you're just injured in war. I've Here, seen the problems exactly. that you've gone through with the VA <laughs> yeah. of just trying to get your back looked at. Yeah. I can't admit. So they yes. won't cover that. Thank but if you, you want to chop your private you're job in. and become a different, Bro, trainer, they're okay. sitting there like this. Let uh, me say I, something because I've seen this guy. His hearing, his back. Huh? I mean, I've, huh? I didn't hear what you said. I've seen this thing where you go in, you're like, dude, my back. My, they're like, sorry, man, we don't cover. And then you have a soldier come in and he's like, look, uh, doctor, my vagina's killing me, man. <laughs> yeah. I got to figure this yeah. thing yeah. out. Yeah. They're and like, well, you have a penis. That's only what well, you see on the outside. And, how, how and they're like, all right, let's take care of that little. How crazy is and that? And now, meanwhile, and an I'm actual suffering. <laughs> yeah. I, I, the, 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 the amount of stuff that we have to go to and the people that are, mind you, I, 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 the veterans out there will know what I'm talking about. And sometimes you'll have like a good VA where people are like, hey, man, mine is great. But the majority, bro, if you actually go, go walk into a VA. I mean, go with somebody that's a veteran because they won't let you in unless you yeah. have your thing. Just look at the general 
atmosphere at a VA. It's sad as hell, bro. But then go try to get a sex change at that VA. Then you're good. Look at the parade they put on for you. Am I crazy for thinking it should be the opposite? You said sometimes you get a good VA. It should be all the time. And sometimes there's a bad one. Well, Bob, you know why? You know why? Because the amount of money we have to give Zelensky. No, no, we have to give money. (laughs) He wants more money. I don't. That's and that's why when when he goes to paying this guy two hundred what billion dollars. What is the problem? And I, I, we always say this. We have to fix home first. The United States is, is – if I had to do an analogy, Tom, we are like, we're like on a sinking boat. We're like, it's like we're on the Titanic, okay? And the ship is gradually going down. But you know what we are? Hey, shut up, Captain. Hey, what? Oh, you have a problem? Come on the yeah, boat. Come on the boat. No, no. And we're I sinking. That's what we are. I'll tell you one thing, bro. Yeah. And you'll know better than this. I'm going to pose the question. Pose it. The Ukraine thing, that's recent. How long has the VA sucked for? Oh, for a long time. Okay. But, I mean, we give people money all great, the time. Yeah. Great. But let's go deeper. Now, let's not be like, oh, it's Zelensky's fault. Let's go deeper for a second. Ready? Fault. Who runs the, uh, when you go get your driver's license, who runs that? The government. The government. Yeah. You get good service there? Absolutely not. Okay. No, GMV in every state. Exactly. The same. You know what? So the I government has managed to be consistent about one thing. The DMV in every state <laughs> exactly. is slow and inefficient. So thank you. So we just, we've established yeah. this fact. Who runs the VA? Is it the government? Yes, yeah, it's, it's government. not a private company. No, it's a, it's a so gov- that's the problem, bro. It's the government. Is yeah. that when you have gl- government bloat and bureaucracy? Yeah. That's, you know, if you ever go, th- I go TSA pre-check, or Pat always talks about you go through clear. Yeah. Hello, sir. Welcome. Of course. Right? You go through general admission. Forget you, it. What, what are you doing? Take yeah. off your clothes. Yeah. Bend Punch over. Ca- yeah. It's a totally different thing. So, it's you know, the are we going to privatize the VA? I don't know. This isn't my world. But if the government is running the VA, that's the reason that it's bullshit. But so yeah. doesn't Not that, that they're say- sending money out yeah. other places. No, doesn't that say something about the government? Yes. That there are severe problems that yes. every single entity that the government touches yeah. is worse off with their involvement that, and that, than and that's not. My point. And that, and that, this is my point. And that, that's the point where I I'm saying, I'm not blaming Zelensky, I'm saying I, we, don't, we understand we need what's less going government, on. Not but, more government. Of course, but the government, at the end of the day, they're giving Zelensky, they're giving Taiwan, they're giving everybody all this money, and it's absolutely insane. It's not benefiting us at all. That's and I, ju- that, I agree with you. Yeah, I know you do. But that's a percentage of the problem. And that's a Band-Aid here, Band-Aid here. Because you can go year after year after year, what we did and we did this. It's the fact that government doesn't solve. Government problems makes the problem Big, worse. Yeah, of course. And so the VA, the reason the VA sucks isn't because we gave Zelensky money. The reason the VA sucks is because big government sucks. Yeah. And big government spending sucks. Yes. So let's try to limit that yep. while we improve the inside. Yep. What is crazy, even though for all of its flaws, this is still the greatest country in it's the weird. entire world. Yeah. It's yeah. an anomaly that this exists. Yeah. And so at the same time, when we sit here and we bitch about how inefficient this government is, it's still the best option yes. out there. Serious. So that's the conundrum. Because yeah. I have friends who are like, Man, I'm just going to go live in Australia. And I'm like, really, bro? Do you actually know how bad it is yeah. in Australia? Go talk to Amy. And to have Amy educate you on what's going on. I just talked to a guy named Victor on the neck. Uh, a shout out to Victor. Suggested guest for PBD Podcast. Turned out to be a great conversation. But he's sitting there telling me about the downfalls of what's going on in Australia. Yep. And I've got buddies that are like, man, if Trump is elected, I can't live here no more. I'm yeah. like, really? So it's better right now? It's better now than when Trump was in office? And on top of that, you're going to go to a total, a totality totalitarian dictatorship a country like australia where they test out these totalitarian measures before they bring them home to the united states you'd rather go there it just shows that you don't know anything bingo what a point by rob what a point but what we don't even have to go across the across the globe to how many people if trump gets elected i'm moving to canada all the all the singers all the actors they're still here we're moving to canada but it's such an ego thing it's you have no idea how many times people from canada yeah are trying to say, dude, I gotta get the hell Message out of me this all place. the time on, on I, like it's probably like ten percent of my messages. Hey, how can you get hell, me out of Canada? I'm hell, like, yeah. I'm not an immigration, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and despite how it's shitty, still some of our, we're it's still such number a one. Prideful, egotistical thing. I the I the celebrity. I the rock star. That if. Trump is elected, I will move to Canada. As if the rest of America is supposed to say, oh no, we're going to lose this precious national treasure. Share left, you I'm leaving. Ego. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and some of those celebrities better be careful because that kind of campaigning could lead to more votes for Trump. Mm-hmm. Because people would say, you know what? Your expiration date is right now. I'm going to make sure yeah. this is. And somewhere in Canada, there's got to be people saying, we got to, man, 
you know what? We got to help Kamala get elected. These knuckleheads might move yeah. here. What's up, everybody? Vincent O'Shawn here. If you want to see me and the entire Valuetainment crew, we will be at the Vault Conference September 4th through the 7th at the Palm Beach Convention Center, hosted by none other than Patrick McDavid and featuring Dwayne The Rock. Johnson, guys, this is the place to be. If you are an entrepreneur and you want to level up, do not miss this opportunity. This is the best place to network. If you want tickets, go to thevaultconference.com. Do not waste time. This thing is going to sell out, and I will see you guys there. Peace and love. So if you like this clip, click right here. And if you want to see more like it, click right here. Stay angry, patriots.